Today's adventure starts at the little castle. The Elf Games. Ben, where are you? Oh, hi Ben. Can I play too? I'm not playing. I'm training. It looks like playing to me. Well, it's not. I'm getting ready for the elf games. That sounds fun. Can I play some elf games? The elf games are not fun. They're very serious. Now, I need to practice my lifting. Ugh, this acorn's really heavy. I can do that. Abracadabra. Easy peasy. <laughs> you used magic. We don't have magic at the elf games. Oh. So what do you have? We have jumping. Hoopla! I can do that. Hoopla! <laughs> we don't have flying either. The games are not for fairies, just for elves. That's not fair. Fairies can do lots of things without flying or magic. Like what? I can dance like a ballerina. <laughs> OK, but we don't have dancing at the elf games. Dancing's not the only thing I can do. Look, I'm good at gymnastics. And I'm really good at looking pretty. We don't have dancing, gymnastics or looking pretty at the elf games. Why not? We're elves. <coughs> we have serious things like jumping, running and... Princess Holly, time for your lessons. Oh, hello, Nanny Plum. Ben's going to be in the elf games. Can we go too? Won't it be boring for you, Princess Holly? Watching a lot of sweaty little elves running about. We don't just run, we jump and we lift things. Look, I won this trophy for the high jump last year. Wow! If you really want a trophy, you can have one. Abracazoo, abracazap for Princess Holly a fancy cup. Yippee! I've won a trophy. You can't just magic up a trophy. You have to work for it. I did work for it. I didn't get this good at doing spells without lots of practice. Well, I've got to go and practice my running and jumping. Good luck, Ben. Bye, Holly. See you later. Welcome to the Elf Games. Please remember the elf rules. No cheating and no... Excuse us, please. Fairy princess coming through. Carry on, Mr Old Elf. Ah, good day, Mistress Plum. Hi there. For the benefit of the <coughs> fairies amongst us, may I remind you there is to be strictly no magic and absolutely no flying. Dear me, I was right. This is going to be boring. Now to our first event, running. Look, there's Ben. On your marks, get set, go. <laughs> We'll soon sort that out. May I? Thank you. Try this, Princess Holly. Ben! Ben! <gasps> what? Go on, Ben! Run, Ben! Ah! I've got very sensitive ears. Sorry, wise old elf! <laughs> Barnaby Elf is the winner. Oh, dear. Elves can be very touchy about this sort of thing. What did you do that for? I was trying to help you win. I was winning. 
It was your shouting that made me lose. Sorry, Ben. Not to worry. Maybe there's some other little game you can have a go at. Will all competitors please get ready for the next event? The high jump. You're very good at jumping, Ben. You'll easily win. I hope so. I hope so too. There's nothing worse than a grumpy elf. The first competitor is Lizzie Elf. Now, for last year's high jump champion, Ben Elf. Good luck, Ben. Yes, you can do it. Hoopla! Hooray! Phew, I didn't think he was going to do it. Another excellent jump. Now, for our final competitor, Barnaby Elf. Bad luck, Barnaby. We're down to the last two for the high jump trophy. I hope Ben doesn't knock the pole off. As long as they don't put it up any higher, I'm sure he'll be fine. Oh, dear. Lizzie Elf. Come on, Lizzie. Jump high. <gasps> <gasps> now, Ben Elf. If he loses, he's going to be really upset. Don't worry. We'll give him a little bit of magical help. But, Nanny, magic isn't allowed. Relax. No one will notice. Are you sure no one will notice, Nanny? Trust me. No one would notice. Someone has been using magic. He knows. OK, but he doesn't know it was me. Mistress Palum. Um, hello. I'll take that wand, if you please. And Ben Elf, you are disqualified from the high jump. But that's not fair. The rule book clearly says... Magic is not allowed at the Elf Games. But it wasn't Ben's fault. It was my idea. Sorry, Ben. We were worried you wouldn't win. I could have won the race and the high jump. Now I'm not going to win anything. Take your partners, please, for our final event, <laughs> the Wheelbarrow Race. <laughs> oh, dear. Ben doesn't have a partner. Can I be your partner, Ben? I promise I won't use magic or flying. No! You've already messed things up enough. Please, Ben. I know I'll be good at it. What is a wheelbarrow race? <laughs> this is how you do it. <laughs> I'm really good at walking on my hands. It's just like gymnastics. OK, then. My goodness! A fairy! Oh, well, the rule book doesn't say a fairy can't race. On your marks, get set, go! We won! Goodness me! The winners are Ben Elf and Fairy Princess Holly. Thanks, Holly. No problem, Ben. Who'd have thought a fairy could win the wheelbarrow race? And I can do this. Ooh. Gracious me. What was that? Dancing, gymnastics and looking pretty. Very good. At the next Elf Games, we shall have dancing and gymnastics. And looking pretty. Yes, and looking pretty. <laughs> Maybe Princess Holly can teach us how to do it. <laughs> yes, please. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Today's adventure starts at the fairy village. Miss Cookie's nature trail. over, everyone. It's Lucy. We thought it might be someone dangerous. Big people have big feet. Yes, and we don't like being stepped on. Ah! Oops, sorry for stepping on you, Mr Mayor. I didn't see you there. It's fine. Glad it's just you. But it's not just me. My teacher, Miss Cookie, is bringing my whole class here today on the nature trail. Lots of big children and a big teacher. They mustn't see us fairies. Or us elves. Or Mrs Witch. Or the dwarves. Or Redbeard, the elf pirate. Yes, yes, yes. The whole of the little kingdom is meant to be secret. That's my class. Here they come. Quick, into the houses. Close the windows and doors. Oh, did I just say little windows in the toadstools? All right, gather round, children. Yes, Miss Cookie. Here are some toadstools. Tick toadstools off on your lists. Toadstools. Miss Cookie, do toadstools have little windows in them? Uh, no. Lucy, that was close. Yes, but I think we got away with it. Next on the list is an oak tree. Let's go and find one. Oh, no! They're heading towards the great elf tree. We have to get there first. Big people! Big people! Coming this way! Ah! Big people! Big people! Everyone into the tree! Good. It looks like a normal tree. Oh, look, a little person. Ah! Here we are. You can tell an oak tree by the shape of the leaves. Do oak trees have little people living in them? What? <laughs> of course not. Tick oak tree on your lists, everyone. Oak tree. Phew. That was close. You're telling me. Right. Next on the list is insects. This way, children. Uh-oh. They're heading straight for the little castle. We have to get there first. Wait for me. Daddy! Daddy! Big people are coming. Big people? Quick, close the shutters. Good. Now we're completely hidden. Hidden? But what about the castle? Perhaps they won't notice it. Won't notice it? Won't notice it? A little fairy castle with a flag on top? I know. I'll just magic the castle invisible. Brilliant, Nanny. Invisible, invisible, castle disappear. Invisible, invisible, castle disappear. A castle! This field is a perfect place for insects to live. I think I just saw a castle. Then it went invisible. Oh, what fantastic imaginations you children have. Oof. What? There does seem to be something here. I can feel a tower with a flag on top. Uh, Miss Cookie, maybe there are some insects over here. Uh, oh, oh yes, insects. That's what we're looking for. Miss Cookie, I found an insect. Oh, oh. Lovely. Now, does anyone know what this insect is called? Gaston. What? Oh, uh, I mean, a ladybird. Oh, oh. All right, children, tick insect on your lists. Insect. And now, on to the lake. I think it's this way. Thank goodness. They're moving away from the little castle. But they're going right towards Mrs Witch's house. No time to lose. How can we hide Mrs Witch? She's huge. Maybe she could pretend she's not a witch. Good idea, Ben. Hello? Hello, Mrs Witch. Listen, uh, there's no time to explain, but you have to pretend you're not a witch. OK. 
Who am I then? You're just a nice old lady. Okay. Here they come. Remember, you're just a nice old lady who wouldn't hurt a fly. Okay. Hello. I'm not a witch. I'm just a nice old lady who wouldn't hurt a fly. Well, I'm, uh, pleased to hear it. My name is Miss Cookie. I'm Mrs Witch. Your name is Mrs Witch? Uh, yes, but I'm not a witch. I'm just a nice old lady who wouldn't eat a fly. Uh, that's good. Can you tell us the way to the lake? Yes. Straight down the path and through the trees. You can't miss it. Is that a witch's hat you're wearing? Yes, but I'm not a witch. But you are called Mrs Witch. Yes, and you're called Miss Cookie. But you're not a biscuit. Talking of cookies, if anyone would like a snack, take a roof tile. They're gingerbread, you know. Thanks, Mrs Witch. <laughs> Bye! Bye! <laughs> they never suspected a thing. But now they're going to the lake. And that's where Redbeard the elf pirate sails his boat. We have to warn him. Hello? Redbeard the elf pirate speaking. Listen carefully. Big people are coming your way. <laughs> I hear them, and I've no time to hide. Pretend to be a toy. Okie dokie, I'm a toy. Here's the lake. I found a toy boat. There's a doll on it. Oh, that's Redbeard. Who's Redbeard? I mean, uh, the doll's got a red beard. Some poor child must have lost it. Let's put it here where they'll find it. Miss Cookie, I found a tadpole. Lovely. Tick tadpoles off your list. Tadpoles. And that's the end of today's nature trail. Come on, children, back to school. Yes, yes Miss Cookie. Cookie. Well done, Redbeard. They never suspected a thing. It was a close call and no mistake. They've been all over the little kingdom now, but we haven't been discovered. Yes, well done, everyone. The big people have no idea us little people live here. They didn't see the great elf tree or the little castle. And they didn't find out Mrs Witch is a witch. All I can say is it's a good thing they didn't bump into the gnome. Dumpty dumpty doo da. Ah! The gnome! Dumpty dumpty doo da. Hello. Evening all. Hello. Are you going to a fancy dress party? Party? Is there party food there? I like food. Uh, we're just on a nature trail. Oh, yes. What have you seen on this nature trail? We've seen toadstools and insects and tadpoles. Toadstools, insects, tadpoles? But there's loads more stuff. Really? There's the elves and the fairies. The what? That blabbermouth is giving everything away. How can we stop him? I know. Come on, Gaston. Yes, the elves live in a tree. An oak tree? Yes, it's got tiny windows in it. I thought I saw a castle. You saw it all right, because it's there. The posh fairies live in a little castle. Made of tiny bricks, it is. Is there a witch? Of course. She's called Mrs Witch. And do fairies live in these toadstools? Yes. This is a secret fairy village. Shush. Hey, what's that? Mr Gnome, big people must never know about the little kingdom. Oh, yes, of course. Leave this to me. Now then. You know how I was talking about toadstools, insects and tadpoles? Yes! Right. Everything I talked about after that, forget it. Forget it. Yes. And there's no magic dwarves, dragons or goblins in these woods neither. OK. Come on, class. Let's go home. Bye! Goodbye. I think we just about got away with it. Bye, everyone. Bye, Lucy. That was close. Close? You told them everything. But I also told them to forget it all. <laughs> <laughs>